Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 106 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we're going to take a load of tires to Tacoma, Washington, while also discovering the final city in Washington State. Let's get into it. And that is what we're looking at, folks. So if you remember, ended in Pendleton. We're going to hop on over here to uh, Tesla. And then our route to Tacoma takes us through Vancouver. And I do believe that is the final city in Washington State to discover. Yes, it appears so perfect. And as you probably saw by the thumbnail, and if you have a keen eye, you're like, wait a minute, you didn't unload there. You were correct, I didn't. I swapped trucks, as you saw by the thumbnail. And when I fast traveled back, that's where it put me. The freight shaker is back, ladies and gentlemen, with the DD60 V12 from Zmods. The only things I've the only thing I have done since we last saw her is I took the steps off behind the fuel tanks. Cleaner look. Don't need them anyway. Because we're not getting airlines. Because the airlines come out the frame on this one. And then I also added the Alcoa Freightliner Polished 24 half by 9 Freightliner rims from jasper's wheel pack and for those that don't know this is the ruda freight shaker classic xl everything is down in the description under the ats mods it's a link to a google doc as every mod i'm running in this profile in the exact order i'm running it the exact name of the mod if it's in the steam workshop if it's not in the Steam Workshop, it says C Note whatever. Just C Note at the bottom, and that's where you can get this stuff. Also, down in the description now, since Steam considers shit profanity, is the uh, Necktie Gaming. I guess it's still called a Mega Pack, Skin Pack, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, if you want to run this paint scheme, it's there. And it covers. I should really write this down so I have it in front of me. It's the SCS 389 Peterbilt, the Freightliner Cascadia, the W900, the Mac Anthem, all of John Ruda's trucks, Pizzer's 389, a trailer skin for SCS box trailers and reefers, a skin for the BART Great Dane Everest, which you're about to see. If you haven't. And Pizzer's Tempty Greenhopper. And I feel like I'm missing something. And also for this, for those that don't know, my mom is battling breast cancer. That's why I have the breast cancer awareness ribbon on my paint schemes. However, there's two different paint schemes. You can have it with the graphic on the side, with the ribbon, or just the graphic on the side. Meaning it would look just like this, minus the ribbon. Or, you can have a solid color with the ribbon, or a solid color without the ribbon. So basically, most of the trucks, you've got four choices on what you want to run. Alrighty, I think the administrative stuff is covered. Oh. Turn your turn your volume up. You ready? Cold start. Isn't that just beautiful? I got chills. Anybody else get chills? I got chills. Look at look at all them lights. Yeah, I pretty much put every... Actually, I didn't. I take that back. I didn't put every light. You could put lights in between those lights, if memory serves me correctly. I just didn't want to take that kind of time. But I did take the time and put all of these bumper lights on. 
I thought those were supposed to flash, but... Maybe I put the wrong ones on. Are you shitting me? I did it again. How long has this been like that? Y'all see what I did? Okay, I didn't put any on the front. Good. But I somehow managed to put all right turn signals on the uh, trailer. So it's a good thing I'm right here to shop, huh? Oh, I'm already on the trigger. Alright, fine. Holy crap. I'm surprised I didn't catch that before either because I've already looked at this once today. It's probably because I'm holding on for dear life. I feel like if I stop talking, I may fall asleep. Alright. Blinker, right, lead. LED, lead. <laughs> so we want left. 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 Alright, and then I'll just show you here if I was correct. Spare. Where's the lights? Placard, 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 placard. Sides. Light trim top. Yeah, so I went with C, right? See where all those are? Watch this. Yeah. So you could select a light for every one of those. And you can do it on the bottom too. If you want to get completely crazy. But we're just going to stay with that. Alright. Now, see, this is important, folks. This is why you need to do pre-trip inspections. Alright, now let's check it. Perfect. Brakes. Alright. What do you say we quit screwing around and get to it, huh? You know, one of these days... I'm going to, uh, I'm just, I'm trying to do too damn much at once right now. And I'm not trying to make excuses, I'm just telling exactly how it is. I'm trying to turn lights off on the rig so I can freaking see. And then I wasn't paying attention at where the hell it put me and what the yard was for this, so, yeah, anyway. Jake. I love that little gurgle. Why do I not have a route on my... Holy crap, Ty. This is just going freaking... What the hell happened to my load? If this load is gone, I'm going to be pissed. No, it's right there. What? Did y'all not see on the... All I did was go into the shop and, like, it just erased it out of the... Turn left. Anyway. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Kind of ironic that this episode's coming turn out on right. a Monday, huh? sad part is I'm recording this on a Saturday, so... Look at that right 
great mirror up there. Isn't that cool how that... That wasn't planned, that was just by accident. <laughs> It's kind of freaky though, it scares the crap out of you when you're not paying attention. This should be a pretty good run too. Uh, well, I say that, I don't know how mountainous I forgot how hilly that road is going to Tacoma from that direction. Keep left. After but 50 yards, turn left. We've got highway gears in this gal, so she'll get up and go. Turn left. It may take her half the episode to reach that speed, but no, it's not that bad. I think I have 285s in here. And for anyone wondering, like, why the hell did you pick 285? That's a damn good question. I just want to try it, honestly. Because I'm not a massive gearhead, and I don't know all of the ins and outs of it. I know the concept, and I know what they do. That's about it. And all I know is that we can go about 85 miles an hour in this old girl. And our RPMs are relatively good. Now, that being said, she's not a she's not a heavy haul kind of truck. She's more of your general freight. Which is why I have the reefer attached. I hope I don't run into a guardrail. And I say that half jokingly but I am freaking exhausted. I've been up since 2.30 this morning and I don't know why I went to bed last night which was Friday night at 9.30 because I had my recording done and everything and I was like oh I'm actually kind of ahead of schedule let me you know not stay up until midnight well then it about 2.15, 2, 2.15, my body woke up and said, Hey, how are you doing? Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. And then I tossed and turned till about 2.30 and said, Screw it. Turn left. Got up, made a pot of coffee. Edited episode 105. Got my thumbnail done for the stream. Did some other stuff. Streamed. That was awesome. I'm really liking that. There's actual Tesla stores like this, but I'm not gonna complain. All right, now I need to be careful, and I may need to. I don't think, and I could obviously just stop that. Okay. I obviously apparently don't think. Anyway, I'm not 100% positive we can get around this building like I'm trying to do. Well, you know, 
what they say, the sun shines on a dog's ass every now and then. Man, they had this close to this fence. You damn near have to have this straight right out of the gate. Normally you wouldn't back up this fast either. Because when you do that, you don't have a lot of time to correct. But... I'm in a hurry. Not really in a hurry. And also, that's no damn excuse. And for those that don't know, just in case you don't, that's the worst time to rush is when you're in a hurry. Once again, Trucky's about a thousand pounds off, 800 pounds off. Actually, now that I think about that, more like 700 pounds off. I don't know how the hell. wonder if I can see our full route on this. Just to confirm, okay, good. After 100 yards, turn left. Left. This truck's really grown on me. The one thing that I don't like about it is that I can't put a duck on the hood. At this moment. I know you're not stopping right there. Swift's hiring. Actually, the way I've been driving lately. If you haven't seen a live stream and you're able to make it every Saturday and Sunday from 1 p.m. Central Standard Time to about, I don't know, whenever. Last couple yeah, times it's been four. I had a hell of a time today. I actually had to call another tow truck. because I ended up staring at the pavement out of my driver's side window. Turn right. And then I was reading chat and basically jumped over a roundabout. wondering like oh how hard can it be to play a video game and read chat 
on another monitor. Okay, well, just take your cell phone, your iPad, whatever, tablet. Actually, don't. Don't be this stupid. I was going to say go out and, you know what I mean? But just pretend. Go sit in your car in the garage or carport, whatever you have. And make sounds like you're, you know. Seriously. What in the hell? Why did that not... That was going from 8 low to 8 high, and it... Huh. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is it's nothing different than texting and driving. Like, you take your... And especially in freaking Europe, where... Those lanes are freaking tiny. Okay, so gearing-wise, this is what I was talking about. If you remember in the last episode, 65 was like our max, right? And 8 high. And the motor was screaming. We're going 75 right now. And I got another half a gear. And here we go. And as I said, it's probably going to take half the episode. But she will roll at 85. And I believe she's under 1500 RPM when she does it. This will help us. Although, my stability's. Yeah, whoa. Okay. I don't need to be calling a tow truck twice today. Okay, so then why don't you just slow your ass down, Ty? And you won't have to worry about it. So this is roughly where we were at in Big Karen. And she's got 390s in her. We were in 8 high, only we were going 10 miles an hour less, but the motor was screaming like this.
wonder why the AI traffic is programmed to slow down like that on the interstate before it turns. I'm guessing there's, I don't know, traffic splines that the AI traffic follows, right? And then there's little nodes at certain checkpoints. So maybe they slow down at one of those turning check, I have no idea. And by the way, I'm not a programmer. I'm just going off of what I know about course play and auto drive in FS22, because that's kind of how it works. Although in that, when you set up a course, you can program how fast you want your AI driver to take that corner. I don't know, anyway. Sometimes it cycles through really cool shots and other times it does that where it just like repeats a couple. discovered.
truck is really fun to drive. Although, fun fact, I do have another truck on order. that I did that and didn't run into anything. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Well, that was kind of weird. Oh, we're here already. Hey, Peterbilt dealer. Let me drive over here so I discover you. Actually, we may have to come see you and... discovered it somehow. I didn't see it After pop up on the screen. After yards, turn left. Turn left. We got a nice Dodge for sale at the Ford dealer there. In the back. Actually got another Dodge there too. Some nice raptors. 
I got news for you. I'd probably sell a kidney for a raptor. Man, I love those. You have reached your destination. I mean, technically you only need one kidney, right? I'm gonna level with you. When the game gives me parking spots like this, I get really nervous. Can't get any more centered on the door than that, huh? I did it. Unload me. It's really fun leveling up and not having to worry about skill points. Alrighty, job market, cargo. It'd be nice if there's something to Astoria. I highly doubt there's gonna be. And if there is, it's not gonna pay much, but you know what? And then that'll be the final one in Oregon. Then we have some, then I guess I'm going to have to head down to California. I may switch trucks for that too, because this is not the truck to be having in California. I mean, you can do it. Where the hell are we picking up? Oh, on the other side of the interstate, over there, okay. Plastic. Okay. 
I've been here numerous times too, but for the life of me, I can't remember if this is even close to how it is because it's been so long ago. But I used to haul cotton harvesters out of Des Moines, Iowa to here for TMC. The big John Deere's. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Does this really want me to make this tight of a turn? You have reached your destination. It does. How am I doing over there? Apparently okay. Home accessories. Chances are they came straight from China. wants us to go over there. And no, I'm not going the wrong way. This is the see the stop sign up here on the ground. These uh, shipping yards are a confusing mess. Nice, and in true fashion, I went the complete wrong way. Now is it going to let me spin around here? Or is there a collision? Not there, so we're going to keep going. Really? It's a railroad track. That's something you don't want to run into. Okay. I may have just snapped off a cab extender, quite honestly. I don't want to look though. I didn't see anything on the ground, so we'll just pretend nothing happened. What is it with these weird... They must be union workers. There is a building that looks like that. It's not right there though. Actually, I take that back. I'm getting confused with the uh, 
Dundalk Port in Maryland. scan on the way out scan my home goods there you go yep see that's all that's in the trailer nothing to see here there's my ticket have a nice day turn left Accessories weighed more than the tires did. Go straight. After fifty yards, keep right. Notice that too there over on my display, the trip economy 5.8. I uh, zeroed that out before we left at the beginning of the episode. I don't think I've ever got 5.8.
up to 2.2 million, almost halfway there. I think that's another history point. I mean, yes, we've hit a million a couple of times now, but I don't think we've ever hit 2 million. Or that sign said 35, or maybe it said 35 ahead. Okay. Now the game GPS switched. So it must have said 35 ahead. Keep left. out on this one, huh?
welcome to Astoria, folks. The last city in Oregon to be discovered. I hear a helicopter. Is there a helicopter? Yes. That's a good looking truck, isn't it? I'm going to need to be in that other lane, aren't I? Oh, it's not really a turn. Go straight. Damn. That's what I get. That's karma right there. It's also kind of bullshit, but whatever. Outstanding, another viewpoint. Maybe when uh, we hit the five million and y'all get bored, maybe I'll actually dev console around to every viewpoint. Hmm. That may not make a bad video now that I think about it. Because I was in my lane. Oh no, it's flashing red. Oh, that's just for the. That's for the aircraft. Turn left. 
turn left. You have reached your destination. Thanks. Trucks only. Well then why are there cars down here? Sign says trucks only. This wanted us over here, didn't it? Pretty sure. Wrong button. Yeah, over on the other side. Okay. in between trailers. Alrighty, well, you know what? Most people would use this and spin around and do a driver's side back. Not my dumb ass. I'm gonna do it the hard way. <laughs> good thing I got out and looked. I thought I was actually a lot tighter than that. That's what she said. So I almost need to start cutting it right there, right? Yes. Wrong camera. We should be. Actually, I want to do this just a little more and then now get under it. Should be fairly. Man, I love where I'm. I'm probably still going to have to do a pull up, but then again, maybe not. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a blind side back. Look at that. Even even with it, well, uh, I mean, it's giving it to me. Could I pull up and straighten it out? Sure. But, I mean, come on. Right? Listen, my therapist told me I have to start learning to celebrate the small victories, and that's what I'm doing. If you have a problem with it, take it up with her. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. I guess I should unload. Swell. 2.289. And I honestly have no idea what we're going to do. It would be nice to come down the Pacific Coast... Maybe we can get something down to Newport, Coos Bay, something like that. Or maybe something all the way down to Eureka. And then from Eureka down there. 
And then we really only have... There's three? Schulenberg isn't base game. Neither is Bovina. Um, I don't even think... What the hell is this? I don't remember. Maybe that is. Lake County's not. Oh, I didn't. Oh, crap. This is going long. Anyway, I totally forgot. Uh, we shut down operations in Colorado Springs and moved it over to Lake County for better property. Totally forgot to mention that at the beginning of the episode. My apologies. And let me go here to the garage manager. Seeing the cool thing about this is in this game, see how this is 180 for a small garage, 100 to upgrade it, so 280, right? I can clear out one of these garages and sell it, and I get 280. It's the only thing that doesn't depreciate when you sell it in this game. Which, okay, it's real estate. Typically, real estate doesn't depreciate, I guess. I don't know. So... Why do I only have four? What happened to my other driver? Did I not have that clear to actually, I don't think you can sell a garage without having them clear out. I could have swore. All right, well, let's do this right quick. Hire a driver. I thought that was full. As a matter of fact, I know it was full. Cause I just watched that episode tonight. What one was it? 104. Yeah, 104, I filled that garage. Or was that G35? I'm not. Ta you could have all sorts of stuff. I'm not taking you because you look like you would cause trouble. Uh, I don't even like any of these. Let's go with Jonah. He's got a couple in that. Welcome to the shit show, Jonah. Where are you at? Right there. I'd really like to know where the hell that other driver went. I don't think you can sell a garage that has people in it. And I'm 100% certain that I transferred everybody over. Oh, well. I can't change it now. Uh, access mod dealer, thank you. No, I don't want access mod dealer. Ty, clear your head out. Let's go. We'll buy them from you since we're here. Fleet. Boom. 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 Perfect. Now we're good to go. Everybody has a home. Interesting. Long distance. Get the truck packed, Jonah. Get your ass on the road. Make some money. Let's go. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 106 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.